most musical campaigners promoting the UK's membership of the European Union and she calls herself the EU Supergirl. Yeah, Madalena Kay currently touring Europe. She's released a single about her travels expressing her solidarity and support for the EU. Madalena is uh, with us now. Good morning, complete with the, the, the blue theme. Um, so what, what exactly are you trying to do? I mean, you've just described yourself, I had a look at your Twitter feed uh, previously, and you've described yourself as a troublemaker. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to stir things up a bit, shake things up, because I think there's a lot of things wrong with the UK at the moment and the way the political dialogue is being held, and I think we need an alternative approach to the narrative to make it... To make it more diverse and inclusive and more and more positive and stop the kind of the hate and the aggression and the the division that's going on and i think what's lacking uh, certainly as a remain campaigner what i think is lacking from our campaign is a positive vision of the uk at the heart of the european union and what i want to do is promote the eu all the benefits that it's given to the, our lives um, and also the opportunities that the eu presents to especially young people but all of us as EU citizens. But as, as someone who, who wants to sort of reduce or stop diversity and, and, and di uh, division, I beg you, not diversity, <laughs> Divi division, you want, to, you want to stop division, you create division, don't you, by campaigning against the results of a legally held referendum? No, because in a democracy, everyone has a right to hold their views, um, you know, and it's not as simple as uh, Brexit and Remain on either side of a divide. There's so many different shades in between different party political alliances. And I think what we need to do is change the way that we're talking to each other in this country so that we're actually spending more time listening to each other's needs and trying to find solutions. Um, because often the easiest solutions presented to us by the politicians Aren't, aren't working and they're, they're too simple. It's, it's much more complicated than that. But, but do you respect the views of those who, who voted to leave the European Union? Of course, and I want to know why they voted to leave the European Union because for me, I don't think that Brexit is actually the solution to the problems that cause people to vote Brexit. I mean, we But does that suggest that you, you think perhaps they didn't understand why they voted that way? I think it was very confusing and it's very complicated and I think that um, the Brexiteers pushed very uh, simple arguments that were often based on, on lies and misinformation. And yes, they actively tried to deceive the British people. But what I'm interested in is not what happened, but how do we move forward from here? And but, 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 I mean, forgive me for interrupting, but it, obviously a lot of people watching will say, the way you move forward from here is to actually deliver on, on what we voted for, which is to get out. But I don't think that's going to solve the problems that that led people to vote for Brexit. If you look at the inequality in the UK, I'm from Sheffield. I've been travelling around the UK for the last three years, spending time with in different regions, talking to local people about the issues that led to Brexit. And it's 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 things like um, you know people in poverty going to food banks, like uh, the the state of the NHS. And what we see with Brexit is the damage it's going to cause to the economy, potentially two to eight percent damage to GDP growth. If it's a crash out on No Deal, eight percent damage to GDP growth is going to cause the problems in the UK to get worse not better and I don't want to see people suffering more. If we ha were to have a second referendum unlikely that that would happen and the vote the result of, of the vote was the same would you accept it finally then? No because we live in a democracy and it's my right to keep campaigning for what I believe in and I believe that the, but a democracy the, accepts the result of a vote. No, because it's not a majority rule, it's not a mob rule. It's always your right to stand up for your beliefs, even if you're in a minority. And I believe that our future is stronger as part of the European Union, collaborating with our European partners but and are neighbors. you suggesting that those who voted to leave are a mob? No, I, what I said was that that a majority does not mean that the people who are in the minority no longer have the right to campaign for their rights and campaign for what they believe in. 
Well, look, good to get your thoughts. It'd be interesting to get your thoughts at home yes, as I'm well. Yes, I'm sure they will Twitter. be coming in. Madalena, good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, stay with us. Come